Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt here with CF Pro Tools once again. Today is Monday Mailbag Day, and uh, there was one big question that we had. Um, a few folks were asking about CF2, CF2.0 add-ons, and what could be used. And I wanted to highlight one because we had uh, some questions about this, and we ended up having to make some updates, and we ended up getting it live and wanted to come back to that, and that was the Slick Slider. All right, so let's take a quick look at the CF Slick Slider. Uh, this is a great way to create uh, testimonial sliders or image sliders. Um, if you want it, you can, if you get creative, I'm sure you could find other reasons to use this. But uh, the best way is, uh, in my opinion, without getting too um, gawky or trying to pull too much attention to it, is just to create testimonials and then have them slide at the row level. So in CF Classic, or CF 1.0 as I still like to call it, um, it, it does work at the section level, so you could actually have rows inside of a section, and then each of those rows would cycle through. Now in CF 2.0, it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't work quite that way, um, but you can have images or other elements inside of a row, and each one of those elements or those images, which is most likely what you're going to be using, will cycle one at a time through there. So all this is on the back side, as you can see over here, it's just uh, a, a stack in a single row of images. And then when you put it into the when you when you preview it, it just slide they slide. So that's how this works. You can also use this at the column level, which is why I created a second one down here. So you might want to have it in one one row over here, so they're just sliding a couple different images. And then over here in the second column, you have like a, a headline and some text, a button. It could be whatever. Maybe you're just showing off the stack to whatever it is that you're selling. There's so many different ways to use this. Um, in fact, you could have four columns if you want. I don't know why you would do that, but you would have like a really small rotating image over on uh, in one of the columns, right? But you can do that. Uh, very easily just by going into your uh, column settings. Now, I'm not going to get into all of the hows on this one because you guys might turn me off and go somewhere else. We don't want that. But if you go over to CF Pro Tools, uh, if you have an account already, great. If you don't, um, I'll leave a link down in the description. Go grab yourself a, a CF Pro Tools subscription um, and play around with this. See what you think. Um, there's installations instru in installation instructions and tutorial videos here that will show you exactly how to set this up, how to make all of this work. And then there's even CF 2.0 installation instructions here that I created and put into a loom. Um, so you'll be changing CSS titles or adding custom attributes, simple little things that you can do um, to add in uh, a, a cool little text slider like this or like this and just seeing how it will end up working on your page. This is a great way to get creative and do different things. Make your make it so that people want to stay on your page and read what's going on or see what's going on, and then they can uh, take advantage of whatever it is that you're selling, or maybe they'll opt in. Uh, what it really is here uh, for retention and conversion and to help you uh, do whatever it is that you're trying to do or sell whatever it is that you're trying to sell. Okay, I hope that this helps. I'm really glad to see you here at CF Pro Tools uh, YouTube page. If you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos that we're doing here. And I will see you guys in another video soon. All right, take care.